I, I support the plan. I think that uh, our panel members of both sides of the aisle or earlier today reflected that. I probably would have done a few things differently. One, and most importantly, I think, is to emphasize, and the President did, but I think you've really got to emphasize how difficult this challenge is. And that, as with the surge, there will be an increase in conflict, therefore an increase in casualties as we move south in Afghanistan and try to reassert control in some regions of Afghanistan, including the challenges on the border. Um, so we will and can and must succeed, but it's not going to be easy. And there may not be an Anbar awakening. I think part of the overall strategy is to attract Taliban and other extremists to, to our side, but there may not be the dramatic reversal we saw in Iraq. And by the way, it's not as tough as Iraq, my friends, and don't let anybody tell you that it is. Because when we started the surge, Iraq was virtually in a state of collapse. Casualties, you look at the casualty rates, you look at all the, the parameters that that judge how you're doing in a conflict, Iraq is tougher, was tougher than, than this issue is, although it has its own set of, of challenges. The second thing I would have done probably is went ahead and announced the overall uh, additional 10,000 troops, rather than be accused of a Lyndon Johnson style incrementalism, uh, because it's very clear what General McKiernan asked for, even though they may not be right away. I would have probably gone ahead and announced that we intend to do that. And I guess uh, third of all, I think that it's very important that we um, continue to consult with Congress and with the leaders on both sides of the aisle to prevent uh, a sort of a resurgence of anti-war activity as this situation worsens. I would have announced a dramatic increase in the Afghan army. I'm talking about up to 200, 250,000 uh, person army. It's a big country, it's a big population, and we need to dramatically increase the size of the Afghan army. And those are just some of the, of the areas that perhaps I would have emphasized or done differently. Overall, I appreciate the President's strategy. I appreciate the fact that uh, there's many of our military leaders who are included uh, in the formulation of this strategy, and I am confident that it can and will work.